just a casual perusal on eBay and I found this roll for a few quid, so I took a punt, loaded it onto my Fuji GSW3 and took it for a whirl one summer afternoon. Agfa are a little less known film brand, but as I would find out, are a reliable one nonetheless. This particular roll expired in 1990. 30 years would mean that I'd probably need to push it three stops if I was going to get anything with it. I shot some side streets in central London to see what I could capture. I remember just picking a random road and got shooting. I saw this old car and thought it would be a perfect fit for this film, an old Mercedes classic. Decided to focus on taking a shot of the tail light rather than a wider angle of the whole car. The devil was in the details, just liked how the old school radio antenna had been bent for maximum efficiency for the old AM and FM stations, and then the black plastic bit hanging off in a sorry state off the tail light. It didn't look like this car got much of an outing at all, although I wonder with a little service and a repaint what potential it might have. The next shot was taken down this road. I saw this person hurriedly walk past and I thought he would make a great subject. Working at the distance would be a bit tricky so I think I decided for him to walk beyond 10 meters before committing myself to the shot. I like how the shadows are falling off the lines converging in at the end where he's walking off. Perhaps capturing a shot of him as he walked into the light would have worked out even better but something to think about for next time. As I was walking along I found this old church which had been retrofitted into a food market. It was a bit strange at first to see an old place of worship being turned into an upmarket canteen but I guess there you have it. Side note here when shooting an old film even if it's expired try to work with it as if it is a new film. This change in mindset will help you to shoot with even more faith, no pun intended, and if it does come out you'll be even more pleased with your pictures. This shot facing to where the old altar would have been has come out a bit dark but it fits the mood of the gothic feel to the image. The way the light is falling through the stained glass as well as the internal lights adds to a deeply somber and moody feel. Found this lovely balcony near the front of the church and had to squeeze up into position to be able to take this shot. The subdued colours from the clouds to the buildings truly gives it a vintage feel and I'm really pleased with this image. This picture could have been taken decades ago and would not have shown much difference besides a little ageing of the film. As I was coming back down this tiny stairwell I saw this little window and it looked like a great snap for the entrance to the building. It was a bit of a risk but hey you lose all the shots you don't take. In fact the film has done quite well here. I whacked the camera down to f5.6 15th of a second. The floor is visible just about and you can clearly see the entrance and the lights. I decided to take another shot of the stained glass window this time with a landscape view from the ground looking up. I think it's a little ironic that you have the food stalls that are being illuminated by stained glass windows of saints looking down on them. It's like going back to biblical times. I wonder if there is a deeper meaning to this image. Outdoors in bright sunlight the film performs remarkably well. This shot has a real 60s feel to it. I finished up with this image of this extremely narrow street which is one of my favourite shots from this set of images. Overall I'm really pleased with how these images have turned out. I would definitely shoot some old stock Agfa again. You can never go wrong with some trust German engineering. A couple of key tips when shooting with old film, remember to shoot it as if you have new film in the camera, albeit factor in how old the film is and push process it one or two stops if necessary. If your film is only a few years old and you know it has been stored well, you'll be fine shooting it as is. If you are going to shoot indoors, try and shoot with a leaf shutter camera which will allow you to bring those shutter speeds way down and along with a super wide aperture you'll be able to capture something classic and unique for sure. Expired film isn't for shoots which you know you definitely need the images for such as portrait shoots but certainly will help you to get out and about give you some joy for just being out there shooting you never know who you'll see or who you'll meet want to learn more about photography or film then hit up my journal at hassanabass.com if you have shot with an old or recent ad for film stock thinking about it or have film photography gems to share then let me know in the comments below and punch the subscribe button in the meantime check out my latest video right here